couch Dogs, me, guitar lessons Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome to another installment of the never-ending fingerstyle rhythm pattern and exercises video series right here on Lickin' Riff. Every week we alternate between beginner, intermediate and advanced fingerstyle lessons and this week it's time for the beginner lesson again, so let's start right away with the first rhythm pattern. It's this. Okay, let's start with the finger part. Play strings one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, I'm playing E minor here. So um, you're playing strings one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Now, let's add the bass notes. Every time we play the E string, we play a bass note along with it. Every time we play the first string, we play a bass note. So, for the first E string, we play the sixth string with it. Then, for the second E string, we play the fifth string with it. Then, for the last and third E string, we play the fourth string with it. So, we get this. Sixth string, fifth string, fourth string. Got it? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And every time you play the first string, one, you add a bass note with it. So you get a dual arpeggio kind of thing. Arpeggio is when you play the notes in the chord in sequence, like we're doing right now, and we're not playing a block chord. So uh, we're arpeggiating the high notes, and we're arpeggiating the bass notes. Okay, got it? So you're playing a dual arpeggio. So that's the first rhythm pattern. The second rhythm pattern is kind of a dexterity exercise. Um, it's this. Okay, so um, you're arpeggiating the bass notes, but this time you're only playing the E string as a counterpart. So you play the sixth string and then the first string. Then you play the fifth string and then the first string. Then you play the fourth and then the first. Then you play the fifth and then the first. Okay, so for the bass notes, it's strings six, five, four, five. And after each one, you play the first string. Now the challenge here is to keep the rhythm. next exercise would be to play the chord instead of just the E string, playing the whole chord, strings 1, 2 and 3 together, like this, with all three fingers at the same time. So again, 6th string, chord, 5th string, chord, 4th string, chord, 5th string, chord, 6, 5, 4, 5 kind of like a polka rhythm. So, 6 chord, 5 chord, 4 chord, 5 chord. Got it? Play it slowly at first. Now, I'm muting the chord uh, between every time I pick a string uh, by putting my hand back on the strings. Uh, so it sounds like this, okay, a short note, but you don't have to, you can play it uh, as a legato. And let the chord and the strings ring out. Uh, again, it's a matter of style choice, but we're not playing anything here, we're just playing exercises, so it doesn't really matter whether it's staccato or legato, if the notes ring out or get muted between the notes. It's a matter of style, it's a matter of habit, so don't mind what I'm playing, just play uh, the exercise any way you see fit. So, uh, now try to change a chord, try playing E minor and then G. For the next exercise, we're gonna play D minor. And we're gonna play this interesting rhythm. Okay, 
there's a triplet in there. A triplet is a takata. Um, so it's dum 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 takata dum 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 takata dum dum. Okay, it's eighth notes, eighth notes, a triplet, and then eighth notes again. If you want to get technical about it. Uh, so for the fingers, without the bass note, uh, you're playing strings two three two three. Okay, and then it's the triplet. So you play strings one two three. And then you play strings two and three again. Got it? Two, three, two, three, one, two, three, two, three. And that's the rhythm. Two, three, two, three, one, two, three, two, three. Now, where do we put the bass notes? The bass note here for the D minor chord is the D string, the fourth string. So you play it with the second string. Then you play it with the second string again. Then you play it with the first string. Then you play it with the second string again. Okay, so the bass notes are played with second string, second string, first string, second string. Now slowly. the final uh, exercise of the day let's go back to the first exercise remember this we're gonna add a hammer on on the bass notes we're gonna play it like this playing the exercise uh, you're starting it out the same way you did one two three with the sixth string as your bass note and then you're playing the E string with the fifth string and you're hammering on from zero to two okay and then you're playing the second string so it's this got it it's da 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 -rum -da. Okay, so then you play uh, strings one and two with the fourth string. Okay, just like on the first time. We're just changing the middle of the exercise. When we're playing the fifth string, we play it with the E string. We hammer on zero to two, and then we play the second string. So the exercise is this. speed. Okay, if you want to hear how it sounds when it's uh, more fluent. So those are your exercises for the day. So I'll see you the next lesson. In the meantime, you subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. I don't see why not. So subscribe to the channel. There is a ton of lessons for you to learn and I upload a new one every couple of days and a new whole finger style arrangement lesson every couple of weeks or so. So uh, go download the tab from the uh, website. The link is right below in the description. The tab is for free, just like the lesson is for free, just like everything is for free here on Lick and Riff. Uh, but if you wanna give something back and help out in producing these lessons there's a large blue donation button right above the tabs you can't miss it it's large it's blue it says donate and everything goes right back into making these lessons and everything goes right back into your guitar education and i'll be more than grateful for any donation and help whatsoever so thank you in advance and you go have fun you go practice this and um i'll see you the next lesson thank you very much for watching bye for now <laughs>